Yeah, I don't believe it. <gasps> yep, I know, I know. It sucked. Okay. <laughs> yep, nothing new. Ah. We'll go to that same place. Try again. right side is how far I am from the ground. Oh, that's neat. Never realized. Oh, well, that's not really... Okay, never mind. Alright, let's just go. Okay, let's try again. Ant. Come on. Get moving. You know what? I can go this way. Uh, let me just do this. The stairs. Go the proper way. Wait, does the does the oh he fires the rockets automatically? Okay. Uh, no, that's not where I want. <clears throat> Wanted to go this way. Try this again. Um, that way. Then try get off. Go to the left this time. Not that it matters. Time to go. Jeez, that's scary as hell. How do you travel like that? Okay. This? Yep. And... Yep. I'll stay a while and listen. Oh god, oh god! Ooh. My legs! Oh! Uh, Dragon Garland, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Uh... Yeah, welcome to the stream. Oh, come on. Hope your weekend's going well. Alright. Uh... Okay. So we're trying to go to the left again. Gotta boost up to that tele... Okay. Alright. Ah. Uh... belts of hell, man. Alright. Once again. You know, it's techno ah. technologically advanced these people were. They had no clue about safety standards. Alright, here we go. Ugh, Jesus. I wonder if I'm supposed to bring crystals. Okay, so here's where I screwed up. Okay, so I gotta go, like, directly... Okay, here we go. Ugh. Oh, I did it! Thank! Yes! Wait. Wait. No? Wait, where am I going? 
I thought this was... Oh, here we go. Okay. Ugh. Okay, please don't... Oh, no, not again. Oh, there's a broken crystal there. Um... Okay, that might be where I need to go. Okay. Ugh. Okay, where am I? Huh. Okay. Guess we're going over there? For... Lack of anywhere else to go? Okay. Okay. I don't know why I always hold my breath there. Here. There's nothing. Okay. For a walk. Just going in a circle? Yeah, I think so. I think I just... Yep, went in a circle. Okay. Um... Alright, let's hit that. Yeah, okay, there's nothing here. Damn it. Ah! That's gotta be where to go. Alright, here we go. Jesus. Okay, where's this going? Oh, I hope this is not going to the teleport pad. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Is it? No, we're at- oh, this is different. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, this has got to be the, um, observatory. Oh, this is cool. Oh, what do we have it here? Giant's Deep Protection Stone. Okay, so... Whoa. Oh, I see. So this one shows... Okay, nicely done, not easy to get here. All right, thank you. Oh, wait, there was something there. Okay, so I get it now. These show a projection. The one, if I use that. Can I, oh. Okay, so, th okay, so this one shows a writing. Ah, okay. Panoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into Orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Oh no, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. The Sava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant Deep of Giants Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Hanoi, I'm able I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brist Brittle Hollow's gravity cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, so there's another way to get here through the tower, which I haven't fully explored yet either. Okay. Okay, so what were they trying to look at here? Some sort of current? Oh, that must be it right there. Oh, what is that? So many more questions, okay. Alright, don't waste time here. 
We got more reading to do, and looks like there's something up there as well. I... Oof. As the Salva's construction yard has been using the cyclones on giant deep to lift the orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. The one convoy was pushed down past a current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. It is now clear there are two types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giants Deep rotate clockwise. Okay. These are cyclones Kasawa typically use to send components to orbit. So this is counterclockwise then. Okay, what does the other one do? There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction, pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Hanoi is showing me your handiwork. And I'm intrigued by this second type of cycle. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giants Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Alright, I get that. Weird. Okay, so that was the one moving clockwise. This one's moving kind of... Okay. Okay. So then, what do we have in these things? Oh, another writing. Huh? Showing the planets? What this is. Oh, this is neat. This is the model. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. What the Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Oh, that's the eye. Oh gotcha. Alright, 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 alright. What we have learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to take any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting the signal. Suppose the eye doesn't want to be found. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Saba, how can you suggest that the eye signal call out to summon us to this star system? Hello. I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye's story. Just subscribed. What? No spoilers. Hey. I don't care how sexy you are. Don't tell me what I can or can't ah. do. Happy subversary. Hope you are enjoying your extended weekend. Hey, Pelky, thank you so much for 44 months, dear lord. Uh, I know you're gonna work today, so I hope your work goes well. But uh, yeah, hope you've been enjoying your weekend. Although, yeah, you don't get a long weekend, do you? It kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I know you usually work on Sundays, but I hope you've been having a decent one so far, and I hope your work goes well. But thank you again so much for the sub dude really appreciate it um i grew up hearing the eye story yet we're no closer finding it than you were when you first arrived here work today off tomorrow okay well i mean at least it's something right at least it's something so what does this say What does that sound? Okay. 
How should our methods change as we continue search for the eye in the universe? You got to schedule your vacation and days off better next year. <laughs> oh yeah, to, so that you get like extended week, you get long weekends as well. Yeah, I hear you. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for the exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Uh, we know what the eye looks like, and thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to? Oh wait, we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Malo's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. You have, have you spoken with Rami and Pai about the technology they're developing? We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover the long distance quickly. A cannon in orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Oh, so Giant's Deep. Okay. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Okay. So is that everything we needed to learn from here? The next question is where do we go from here? Hmm. Okay, well. I mean, I guess we can try to walk into a cyclone. See what that does. Or, you know what? No, no, no. Hold on. Let's try to open this door. Maybe we make an easier path here if we do this. Oh, yes. It, oh. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that, sh in that the ship went down and then it's the same bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad, uh, I have found a way. I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken. And I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Oh, I wonder if that's... Uh, what's his name? Wait. Is that a ship? Oh my god. Can I get... Oh, I can't even get in. What the hell? Oh, that's cool. Wait. Is it... Ryback. Right. Okay, I wonder if this is Ryback's ship. This has to be, right? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I just let all the oxygen out of here now. Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Um. Why not? Ah. Oh. Okay. And this one. Okay. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. All right, so we found the Southern Observatory. Nothing. Okay. Question is, now what? <clears throat> um. Hmm. Where do we go from here? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Get up to a high point. Ah. 
Jeez, Verizon, so small. Oh. Oh, well, that did hit. Um. There's my ship, I guess. All right. I guess we'll go for lack of anywhere better to go. We'll go that way. Oh. Oh, what just happened? Oh, gosh. I'm gonna smack. Oh, God. I was. Oh. I think I just. Oh, I think I just killed myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, oops. Where the hell did I end up? Oh, not this again. Ah. I gotta, you know, I gotta remember that you generate so much momentum when you're thrusting that it takes forever to try to change your direction. Uh oh, see, like this. I was trying to get there, but I don't think this is gonna work. Is that going anywhere? Yeah, yeah, you know, okay, yeah, just just keep spinning here. Sure. Oh, wait. My ship is right there, if I can reach it. Come on. Is this what's left of the planet? Can you? Please? Okay. It's like three-dimensional ice skating. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You're absolutely... Oh, I don't think this is a... I don't think my ship is usable anymore. God damn it. There it goes again. I'm just like... Flying, gonna fly past... Fly right by this. God. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? My ship is gone. Wait! Oh! I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs>